Hey there, Banana Cubs, Tiger Monkey here, and I have a theory I want to run by you. Anime! That's a thing I like. I hope you like it too. Actually, I really hope you like it because here's my theory. In the next five years, anime is going to take over American cinemas as the next adapted franchise craze. Here are my reasons! Okay, so. Comic books are everywhere right now, and that is amazing. They don't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon, which is also awesome, but if you've been paying attention to what's been going on at the studios lately, something very specific is happening. Basically, after the Avengers made like a bajillion dollars at the box office, this new thing started where it's not just enough to have three movies for a franchise anymore. Now you have to have an entire universe. Now you need like a bunch of different movies with a bunch of different characters that all come together every once in a while in this one big huge movie that makes like your eyes orgasm. Wow! That is not, isn't that just crying? Marvel started it with the Avengers and now every studio is trying to do it. Disney's really lucky they have both the Avengers and Star Wars. Uh, WB is officially gearing up for the Justice League. Fox is reinvesting in the X-Men with Days of Future Past because that way they can have any movie they want with any type of character in either timeline. That is actually a stroke of genius. This is all really exciting stuff, but it leaves a huge gap for our traditional three film sci-fi franchises. And that's where anime comes in. It already has a built-in fan base. It may not be as big as the comic book fan base is right now, but neither was the comic book fan base 10 years ago, so do not play that card with me. Furthermore, anime makes up 50% of Japanese cinema every year, so there's an endless well of material that you can go into after the big movies like Ghost in the Shell, Ninja Scroll, Princess Mononoke, and Akira get made. Add the fact that a film's international gross is becoming more and more important to studios now, having a cross-cultural property on your hands that has a fan base in multiple countries is a fucking gold mine. And really, if you look closely, it's kind of already starting. Hollywood has been blatantly ripping off of anime for years! Blatantly! If you watch both next to each other, Blade is basically Vampire Hunter D. They've already made Paprika, they just turned it into a heist movie with a bunch of dudes and called it Inception. And Terminator Salvation is an insulting, like, shot-for-shot -shot remake of Kashan Robot Hunter. I could literally make an entire vlog just about that. I'm probably going to, actually. I am really passionate about it. Also, I know Kashan is really pronounced Kashern, but it was translated incorrectly when it was first released here in America, so that is the name I go by for that film, and that film only, I promise. So the wheels are already turning on this. Uh, Pacific Rim opened some doors that are gonna lead more people to go see Godzilla when it comes out next year, and when that's a big hit, all the studios are going to be like, well, we gotta make more movies like these, but what the hell else is there? And that's when someone really smart is gonna raise their hand and say, so there's this show called Attack on Titan. But really, Banana Cubs, all the proof you need is a trip to Comic-Con. More cosplayers are dressing up as anime, film, and television characters than they are American superheroes every year. This is a movement, and it's growing, and it's going to hit our movie theaters very, very soon. Anyway, I could go on, but I would rather hear from you. What do you think of anime being adapted into live action films? Is it a good idea, bad idea? What are some personal films that you would like to see get made yourself? I'm a Kashan and Ape Man fan, personally. Oh, and Banana Cubs, remember to come back here on Friday for Valentine's Day because I am going to be doing a live stream. I'm going to be doing it all day. I may have a friend or two drop by, but for the most part, I'm probably just going to be eating my feelings and drinking the pain away while I watch The Crow and The Highlander back to back. So, yeah. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you then. Toodles! No!